All right, welcome back to News 2 at 11. If you are tired of the shouting on primetime TV, you have a new option starting on Monday. We'll talk to Ashley Banfield about her new show, Banfield, in just a moment. But first, here is a quick look at what you'll see on News Nation. The world is a noisy place. People talk at each other and over each other, but nobody talks to each other. It gets us angry and it makes us cynical, and we don't learn or grow. I want to change that. So every night, we're going to sit down with America's top newsmakers and biggest celebrities, and I'm going to show you what happens when we have a conversation, when we actually communicate. So let's talk. Banfield, starting Monday, 10, 9 central on News Nation. All right, first things first, Ashley, congratulations on the new gig, and welcome to News Nation. Thank you. I am so incredibly excited to be here, and I appreciate the opportunity to talk about it, Neil. Actually, you've been doing this on the national level for 30 years. I've been doing it on the local level for 30 years. We've both seen changes. Tell me what the national view is like and the changes that have gone on in the news business over this three-decade period. Oh, man, you got an hour? <laughs> <laughs> I do. <laughs> you do, actually. So <laughs> I think what's really uh, been profound uh, in my experience has been watching everybody diving into their echo chambers and then retreating and staying there and, and bouncing around off the walls and getting battered and bloodied and bruised and, and yelling across the, the aisle and not listening to the other side. And that has become sport in the news and I think facts uh, have been forgotten. So the, the, the real victim, and I think all of that has been Americans, uh, American viewers who for the most part, honestly, Neil, they're, they're independent minded, right? Mm -hmm. They don't like to be told what to think. They don't like to be told what to do. They would like to have a fulsome picture of what happened, and then they'd like to judge for themselves how they feel about it. And they have been, um, they have been they've been prevented from from being able to do that and it's yeah. shocking in the news business that we aren't doing what was old which is just the facts ma'am yeah and and reading through some of the clips and some of the um some of the things that you've been saying it, it seems like you're ready to roll up your sleeves and really go toe to toe with some of these folks whether it be a, a newsmaker a politician or a celebrity yeah but in it in a different way i think where I come from at this point in, in my life, and 33 years is a long time to be doing TV news, I think I've learned a, a, a thing or two and I've watched this evolution. Um, it's not combat, and, and I don't want to be in combat. Everyone else is doing combat right now, and it's gotcha, and it's it, go yeah. to war, and it's like it's a Super Bowl every night, which is great if it's entertainment and it's football and there's Cheetos, but it's not great when it's the American democracy at stake, right? So the way I'd like to come at things, is a conversation that's really respectful and delightful, even when you don't like someone, you know, um, or even when you don't agree with someone. You should be able to have a good conversation with them because we are all in this sandbox together, right? And, and the best way to make it the best sandbox is to work as a team and not, you know, poke holes in the other guy's edge so the sand falls out. I, I have enjoyed interviewing um, the most unlikely of characters. I enjoyed interviewing Bashar al-Assad. Do I like the guy? Heck no. <laughs> um, I enjoyed interviewing um, Yasser Arafat. He was an intriguing man. He has risen to the, to the top of his world, and there's a reason for it. Yeah. It's good to find out why, right? It's yeah. always good to find out why. And you, you can do it so easily if you just stop going to war with people. I can't wait. Uh, best wishes uh, with Banfield, and again, welcome to Next Star mm -hmm. Nation. It's good to talk to you.